If you've never heard of the 75 Hard Challenge, it is a fitness challenge created by entrepreneur Andy Frisella. The 75 Hard Challenge has been quoted as a transformative mental toughness program according to the program's website. Yes, there is a website for it, and it claims that many people don't successfully make it through the 75 Hard Challenge. For 75 days, you have to follow some pretty strict rules. When it comes to the diet, you can pick a diet that works for you, but you can't have any cheat meals, pop, alcohol, or anything really unhealthy. For liquid, you need to be drinking a gallon of water a day. For workouts, you need to do not one, but two 45-minute workouts daily at least one of which has to be outside. You have to read 10 pages of nonfiction each day and take a daily progress photo. The kicker, if you mess up or forget any of these things, you start from day one. I tried the 75 hard challenge and it truly broke me. It is day one. I'm done with my 45 minute workout that can be indoors. I'm doing a 45 minute walk. It's gonna storm tonight, so I have to get it in before work, but I think I might be late for work. That's all right, getting, getting some exercise. I just went up and down the apartment stairs for 15 minutes. I'm literally sweating so much. My legs are like shaking. I have an hour and 15 minutes left of working out. So this is my grocery haul for today. Super healthy. Um, I'm gonna do some sheet pan vegetables. I have some stuff for salads. Got a few meats, the fruit and the sausages for breakfast and just trying to keep my clean eating and eating lots of colorful, beautiful vegetables. I'm already starting to get used to going to the gym at 6 a.m. Am I a fitness girly? This little area was right by my apartment. How did I never know about it? Okay, I'm actually starting to love my morning hot girl walks. Like Post-workout, just walking around. It's a little warm, so I'm really excited for it to get a little cooler. But yeah, I love it. I'm literally so sweaty. <laughs> it's disgusting. Um, 6.30, it's a Saturday. We moved some stuff into the new house. I'm in the new gym. I still have to get my workout in. Time, 930 calories in. Freaking tired. I'm like a chugging water. Like I literally cannot drink enough water. I'm exhausted. <laughs> This challenge is crazy and I'm not even a week into it. So we're doing great. Can't wait to see the results. Usually I'd be like drinking right now, but I'm drinking water. So cheers. So I got my weekly summary from last week. I burned almost 7,000 calories, about 985 calories a day over 100,000 steps, 48 miles in distance. My active time was over 11 hours. Crazy for a week one. It's day 10 of the challenge. I'm going strong. I weighed myself this morning and I'm super excited. It's definitely more motivating once you see weight starting to come off. So even though this is hard, I can do this. 75 days. It's six o'clock and I still have over an hour of working out to do. I'm exhausted. It's the last thing I want to do right now. It's starting to rain, but I still have 20 more minutes I need to do outside. Ah! <laughs> I am literally so excited right now. It's cold. It's like 50 degrees. I love it. This is like the ideal walking temperature.
It's day 14. I'm exhausted. I've not done either workout yet and it's past 11 a.m. I really wish I could just take a break right now, but I know that I'll be so upset with myself if I give up. So just waiting because it's supposed to storm to have a break in the day to do my outdoor workout. I'm just telling myself this is going to all be worth it. literally crazy it's been 16 days and I'm down 14 pounds already I'm working out in my parents gym today I way prefer personal gyms like the gym fear is so real it is day 21 <laughs> I can't believe I've been doing this for three weeks the daily walks have just kind of become habit by now. Um, I've got my coffee, which really changes the game of the morning walk. And I'm about 15 pounds down, which is crazy. I'm so excited for this challenge to be over, but also so excited to see what my weight is at the end of everything. Hot girl walk essentials, fanny pack, coffee, crop top. <laughs> okay, so three weeks into this challenge and I broke my water bottle. See how there's <laughs> a thing missing? So it, it doesn't stay closed. So looks like I am headed to Target for a new water bottle today. Okay, so it's day 26. I've completed a third of the challenge. This is what my body looks like. I'm not sure if you guys can notice any weight loss. My stomach was definitely my worst area, um, but I have lost 18 pounds so far. I'm exhausted. I'm like so over this challenge, but I am excited to see what happens to my body after the 75 days. Yes. <laughs> it is September 1st. I am 201, so 18 pounds down from where I started. This is my lunch today. I've been drinking literally so many LaCroix because I can't drink alcohol or pop, and I just get really bored with water, so pretty much a huge LaCroix girl now. And then I have chorizo tortellini that my fiance made. Guys, I'm freaking out. So it is September 1st. I've been doing this challenge for a month. I just put on my Apple Watch, and I, I got it on the second one. <laughs> so like super crazy because obviously I've seen the weight loss on the scale. I've not really noticed it a ton, although I have already started getting comments about losing weight. Some comments were made to my fiance. Um, and it's just crazy that like this, this is proof. I'm losing weight. I'm super excited. <sighs> Feeling great. <laughs> day 36 it is 4 30 in the afternoon haven't done either of my workouts yet I'm literally just starting my walk and i'm annoyed <laughs> i'm so over this challenge i want a glass of wine i want a pizza and i want to stop working out honestly i just want a lazy day i want a rest day <sighs> it's very tough luckily i have a great support system that's like cheering me on but Honestly, I'm, I'm so over it right now. Hey, <laughs> I am currently sitting on my floor of my apartment. I just got off the phone with my mom. Yes, I'm crying. It's day 38 of the 75 hard challenge and it's 830. So I have three and a half hours left. 
have not done my outdoor workout, have not done my other workout, have not read, and honestly, like I was was just sitting on my couch after I got home from work and the hours just kept passing by and I was getting like such anxiety around the fact that I haven't done my workouts yet. I mean, I have an hour and a half commute to work um, because I moved and I just, I can't do it. I know I'm a quitter, whatever. I like immediately reached out to my fiance, my sister, my mom. <laughs> I'm like literally having a mental breakdown <laughs> because I feel like crap about not being able to complete this. But I'm just so, exa so exhausted. I'm just so, so exhausted. I can't do it. I'm tired. I f I'm miserable. Like, at first, I felt like I was having such a good boost of energy, and I was doing really well at work, and it doesn't feel that way anymore. Like, it feels like I accomplished nothing during the day. I feel like absolute crap. I'm exhausted. I'm drinking more coffee than I've ever drank in my life. And so, 38 days. It was great. It was real. I lost, like, 20 pounds, which is cool. But peace, I'm gonna go watch Desperate Housewives, I'm done. So let's talk. Obviously I was unsuccessful with the 75 hard challenge. I did this back in September and it's currently March. I have been just sitting on all this footage because honestly I felt like such a failure. I figured that if I put this out on the internet that I get a lot of criticism and I'm sure I still will get some. I'm really proud of how hard I tried to do this challenge. It was difficult. It really became a very intense thing that I was thinking about every second of the day from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to sleep. All I was thinking about was when I was gonna get my workouts in, I was obsessing over everything I was eating it did take over my life. I wasn't doing anything on the weekends. I really wasn't able to like socialize. I got a lot of anxiety around trying to do things. I skipped work happy hours because I just was so uncomfortable and I didn't know how to explain, you know, why I'm not drinking. So overall, I think this really was a mental toughness challenge. I definitely see why they call it that because it really, really mentally took a toll on me. Would I recommend this challenge? I mean, maybe I haven't kept off all of the weight. Six months later, I am about 15 pounds lighter than what I started, but I'm not quite at the weight I ended at. I've been trying to keep up with healthy changes and I definitely do drink a lot more water. I would say that's been like the most positive change to have come from this. Overall, I think if you want to try this challenge, then you should, but I don't know. Will I ever do it again? We'll see. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye.